Bloody daily mail. Good morning, good morning to all in the Marmy Army. And it is a growing Marmy Army. When I spoke to you on New Year's Day, we were at something piddly, 300 and something. Now, 481. I don't know where you've all come from, but welcome one, welcome all. Join the table for the cool kids, because you have joined a niche and elite band. I don't mean for it to be niche and elite, that kind of suggests it's flying under the radar a little bit, which it kind of has, not by design, but um, maybe some of the established subbers would like to put some comments of welcome to new subbers in the comments. Just let them know what they're in for. But look, it's a running channel, sort of. But if you want to hear all about muscle retention, then uh, you've probably come to the wrong place. If you want to see a bang average human being go on a voyage of self-improvement with not a little bewilderment at the modern world, then tune in. I call it improvement and bemusement. But just before I show you the car crash of my first home workout, it's about time I took you to my second way. And a big welcome again to my mom's Bert Sophie. Week two. Week two. Halfway through. I know. That's and that isn't that a lovely feeling to think. Look how grey and dismal and dark it is. It and is. We are halfway through yeah. the first chunk of changing your life. I know. Is, and tell me how this week has gone. Uh, it's been great. Again, haven't done my homework. Was going to do it this morning, but I thought it's like doing it on the back of the bus, isn't it? At school, <laughs> I haven't done it. But um, it's pretty well as you were, so so the breakfast hasn't changed. Although I am um, weighing the oats, well, I'm not weighing them. I'm doing like half a little cup, which I've worked out okay. would be forty grams. Brilliant, because All I right. brought you <laughs> some scales. Some scales. For lunch, it's still like I'm becoming this kind of like I am not weight training yet, but I'm becoming this sort of like chicken and rice sort okay. of guy. Okay. It's fine. I'm well, still actually... enjoying it. It's fine. It's better than. The alternative of sandwich and crisps. Yeah, 100%. Um, absolutely. So I like it. And tea, we're kind of getting into this like, routine. Some re I'm going to start putting some recipes on, which okay. is hilarious because I can't really cook. But um, there's been a couple of misses mm -hmm. that have not been great. Yeah. Where like we've substituted a cheese sauce for quack. <laughs> Qu have you quack! ever tried it? Quack. Quack or quack. No one knows what it is. It, 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 well, yeah. <laughs> let me tell you, in a pasta bake, it wasn't that good. Yeah. So, no, it's been fine. Okay. There's a few changes I'm gonna, I wanted you to put in this week. The things that are going to make you even more healthier. And I think you're ready for it. All right. I wouldn't introduce it if I think you won't. So, this is for you to take home, okay? Yeah. Okay. You're going to start plating your food up a little bit differently. So, when you did your spag ball, yeah. spaghetti, bolognese, yeah. like everyone does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit different now. Spaghetti here. Yes. Bolognese here. Interesting. And then your speed, maybe your carrots. Okay. Your salad. All right. Your your ex your extra speedy bits there. Wow, that's really interesting. So you're not eating less. Yeah. You're just plating it up differently. Okay. And that's gonna have a massive difference. How high can I go on the plate? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it's, it's actually a beautiful plate. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, but it's. It's, it's designed to make you rethink yeah, yeah, you yeah. things up. And you're not having less, you're just gonna look at it differently. Yeah. And, and I'm a visual difference. learner, it's good to see what an egg is. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah what a salmon fillet. It. Oh, it's great. Get the scales. I'm nervous this week, you know. Okay, all right. I don't know why, because it's the second week, yeah. and I was thinking, God, if I don't want to go backwards, <coughs> and you know, did I have a bit too much of that spag bowl? Was okay. I enjoying it too right. much? Second week is always nervous because, especially when you had a big loss in your first week, and it yeah. wasn't just the first week, it was over a few weeks, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. if we're honest. Yeah. So, whatever the scales say this week, I think you've got to remind yourself that you've made massive changes to your eating habits, yeah. massive changes to your well being and your state of mind and your health. So, um, the one thing I was going to say to you just before I got on the scales, so um, I, you know, obviously look, I run all the time, yeah. but I did um, eight miles on Tuesday right, in the rain and in the dark and all that sort of stuff, but I felt lighter, my stamina was really good, I just didn't start, I just carried on, carried on, carried on, and I, as I, said, I run a long way anyway, but it felt different yeah and I, I, whether it's psychological or not i don't know it doesn't matter if it doesn't is matter. Or it isn't because that feeling was there 
and 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 devalue is because of these changes you're making. Now I don't know what, if you don't want to do this, I will cut this bit out. But you yourself have. Um, I did. I did. I did. I, I had a large gain over Christmas. Yeah. And, and quite a large gain. Um, and enjoyable. I enjoyed putting it on. But after when I came back after, I felt really really rubbish. So I knew I needed to go back on it. And after a week, I go to a real group. Everybody, I go to a normal group. I lost ten. Ten that pounds. That is ten pounds. Ten pounds in one week. It was the cost of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on. Oh, um, right, so we were. Best. We were. Was I 11? 11, I reckon 11. Yeah, 11, 11 last time. Oh, right, I'm breathing in already. Do you know, um, this day doesn't get any better. <laughs> I've got a plate, I've got a certificate. Sophie's lost 10 pounds as well. This is exceptional. Now look, the weighing was great, but I think it's probably about time that I introduced you to my PT Malmsburg, Tris. Now, Tris, for some time now, has been threatening to take me down to his container and beast me. Now, I've got no idea what that actually means. It sounds both horrendous and barely legal but I've managed to hold him off by suggesting that you start slowly with some home workouts. Here's Tris. Tim, I know you wanted me to do your little routine, a nice simple one to get you started. These are all going to be moves that you probably already know. I like to keep things really, really simple. And so the routine is going to be, you'll be working for 40 seconds and you'll rest for 20 seconds. But your first one is squats. Now, I don't actually know what a squat is and I'm too embarrassed to ask. I have to go online. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward. I want you to place your hands on your thighs and gaze up towards the sky, lifting your chest nice and high. As you bend your knees, I want you to place weight through the heels and sit back as if you're gonna sit in a chair. She makes a lot of sense. Alexa, set the timer for 40 seconds. to holding a plank and you can hold a plank either on your elbows or you can do a high plank onto, onto your arms and you might want to vary them I don't really mind. Alexa set the timer for 40 seconds. Then we're going to alternate lunges these can be forward or backwards I don't really mind. Who knows what an alternate lunge is? Had to go online. Step your right foot forward about two feet and lower into a lunge. Drive your body off the ground and switch the position of your legs in the air. 40 seconds, starting now. No problem. Then we're gonna go into press ups. I don't really need to say more than that. Then we're going to squat jump. So these don't have to be deep squats before you jump. It can be a little half uh, squat before you jump, but make sure both feet are off the floor. Last one is going to be burpees. 
I'm too tired to even check the internet on this one. Alexa, set the timer for 40 minutes. No, 40 seconds. Alexa, set, no! Turn, t Alexa, turn timer off. 20 minute timer cancelled. Thank you. Alexa, set the timer for 40 seconds. 40 seconds, starting now. Then you've got 60 seconds rest before you then do it all again. Again? You must be joking. So really easy. Squats, plank, lunges, press ups, squat jumps, burpees, and then 60 seconds rest. Let me know how you get on mate, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks Tris. I think I've nailed that. Can't wait for you to take me to the container. Like, subscribe, do whatever. Mina, Lena, cleaner. <laughs>to return to the Broadway Notice Board. Now look, a little bit of context for new people, new subscribers. Uh, last year, if you actually watched the video, I had a bit of a mishap in the beautiful Cotswold village called Broadway, and I was mistakenly added to their Facebook community page. Now for a little while, I was slightly childish and started posting as if I was a villager. Can't do that now, because group admin Fiona Legg is now a subber, and uh, she'll be on to me pretty well straight away. But I I am still fascinated with Broadway. Let's see what's been going on. We've got a bike that's been locked to the railings outside number five Gordon Close for a month. Can the owner please take it home? We have got someone who's looking for a bale of hay. Does anyone know of a local farmer I can buy one off? Not many farmers in the Cotswolds. You have to use your initiative. It doesn't stop there. Has anyone got a small piece of land for sale? Broadway or the surrounding villages, please. How big do you want? Flower bed? Lawn? You can forget about building there. We've had all that with the Spitfire estate. You're not building on Broadway. The big news this, this week is that Russell's Fish and Chips is reopening. Now, just again, a bit of context for more people. Russell's Fish and Chips closes quite frequently, but it is reopening this Friday. Touch wood, we hope. Closing again on Saturday, but it's real. That's cruel. Good luck with the opening, Russell. Now this one has really caught my attention and to be honest with you, this one is post of the week. Right? This person is asking if anyone knows whether there's a women's institute in the village. It has kicked off. Comments are plenty. We've discovered that there's one in Charles Wickham. We've discovered that there's one in Willersley. Then a lady has asked whether or not there's an age limit for the WI. And get this, right? Apparently you can go there from the age of 18. 18 year old at the Women's Institute after a long series of messages, we've established that the best and flourishing women's institute is at Mickleton. This Monday, the keynote speech is all about the Fred and Rose West case. What a cheerful way to start 2023. A retired police officer and search coordinator is going to tell them all about the case. And just in case we didn't know that he worked for the police and it was all about murder, they have included this jaunty little image of an inspector looking through a magnifying glass. Right? Not quite how I remember the Fred and Rose case, to be quite honest with you. Actually, to be fair, in Charles Wickham, I think it would be better if they could trump them. Maybe by having Rose West on Zoom to talk about it herself. Look, it's an idea. It's just an idea. And I'm really looking forward to getting into more messages as this year's mom unfolds. I am not ready to leave Broadway yet.